This week is looking pretty dark and darker, but August looks a lot brighter. Stay tuned. This week is pretty dry in terms of games, but there's been a couple of things on my mind regarding current and upcoming shooters, including Modern Warfare 3. First, I still have no idea whether the Xbox Game Pass version of Modern Warfare 3 will be supported on GeForce Now. I have heard absolutely nothing on this front, and this is concerning because it looks like Black Ops 6 will be operating in the same way for Game Pass members. Now I'm pretty sure we'll still get to play Black Ops 6 on GeForce Now, but it might be through Steam and hopefully Battle.net. And again, we'll have to see about that Xbox app. Also, before any of this happens, they're going to need to fix the cheating issue with the PC Xbox app players being identified as console players so they can cheat with absolutely no consequences. This is outrageous. Now I also wanted to talk about the upcoming games Arena Breakout Infinite and Delta Force Hawkups. Both of these games should be coming out soon with what I'm guessing is a similar date as Black Ops 6 and actually might give it a run for its money during this time because they're both free to play. So I know the question on your mind is, is it coming to GeForce Now? And I have absolutely no idea. Now we could assume that these games do have some chances due to the fact that they're both on Steam. Delta Force Hawk Ops is being published by Level Infinite, in which they have several games on the platform, so there's some more hope for at least Delta Force. Now me personally, I'm really looking forward to Delta Force to come. Best of all worlds, competitive, extraction, campaign, it's supposed to have it all. Hopefully, it's all it's cracked up to be, but rest assured, if any of these games will be coming to GeForce Now, I'll be covering it. Now which of these games do you want most to come to the platform? Comment down below. Now let's talk about August. Here's the list for August so far. Now don't forget there's usually some stealth launches of some sort, so this can't all be it. And I'm sure we'll see some Game Pass launches like, let's say, Crash Bandicoot. I'm calling that as the next Activision game to come to Game Pass. We should also be covering Visions of Mana and Star Wars Outlaws next month as well. Now for this week. There are five games launching this week. Well, five and a half. One's a demo. Starting with the Xbox games, first we have Kanitsugami, Path of the Goddess. The demo is also available on Steam and Xbox. Stormgate Early Access, a new release on Steam. Space for Sale, a new release on Steam. Cyber Knights Flashpoint, available on Steam. And finally, Dark and Darker, a free-to-play game available on Steam. Let us know if you want to see footage for this. If you like this news overview for GeForce Now, make sure to give us a like. If you're looking to get started with GeForce Now, the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.